free to use by schools and teaching institutions. This video can be freely used by any school or institute for teaching purposes. We only ask that you recommend us to the pupils' parents and other schools. We believe that education should be freely available to all. Thank you. Fractions Part 17 The use of word off in a fraction questions. Sometimes in calculations involving fractions you will see the word off appearing. Its meaning should always be taken as instruction to multiply. So, just replace the word off with the multiplication sign then follow the rules for multiplication, which we learnt in the multiplication of fractions video. We will dive in and do lots of examples. Example 1. Work out a half of 20. Solution. Step 1. Lay out the work as shown. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign. Then rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 2 divides into 20, 10 times. Step 4. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 5. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is 10. Step 6. So, a half of 20 is equal to 10. Example 2. Work out a half of a half. Solution. Step 1. Lay out the work as shown. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign. Again, the rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Lay out the work as shown. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is a quarter. So, a half of a half is equal to a quarter. Example 3. Work out three quarters of 60. Solution. Step 1. Lay out the work as shown. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign. Then rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Lay out the work as shown. Look to see what can be cancel. Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 60 and 4 have a smallest common factor of 4. Cancel as shown. Step 5. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 6. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is 45. Step 7. So. 3 quarters of 60 is equal to 45. Example 4. Work out 25% of 60. Solution. Step 1. Lay out the work as shown. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. 
Replace the word off with the multiplication sign. Then rest is same as my Step 3. Change the 25% into fraction. Now the multiplication looks familiar. This is Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 60 and 100 have a smallest common factor of 20. Cancel as shown. Step 5. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 25 and 5 have a smallest common factor of 5. Cancel as shown. Step 6. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 7. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is 15. Step 8. So, 25% of 60 is equal to 15. Example 5. Work out 75% of 200 pounds. Solution. Note. The currency sign of pound is not important in the question and can be left out during the calculation and can be put back at the end of the answer. Same method follows regardless of type of quantity. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign then rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Change the 75% into fraction. Now the multiplication looks familiar. This is just multiplication. Just follow the steps for multiplication to complete. Also look to see what can be cancel. Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 200 and 100 have a smallest common factor of 2. Cancel as shown. Step 5. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 6. Lay out the work as shown. This is a partial answer. Step 7. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is 150. Step 8. So, 75% of 200 pounds is equal to 150. Example 6. Work out 1% of 35 pounds. Solution. Note. The currency sign of pound is not important in the question and can be left out during the calculation and can be put back at the end of the answer. Same method follows regardless of type of quantity. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign then rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Change the 1% into fraction. Now the multiplication looks familiar. This is just multiplication. Just follow the steps for multiplication to complete. Also look to see what can be cancel. Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 35 and 100 have a smallest common factor of 5. Cancel as shown. Step 5. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 6. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is 7 over 20. Step 7. So. 1% of 35 pounds is equal to 7 pounds over 20. Example 7. Work out 10% of 35 dollars. 
Solution Note, the currency sign of dollar is not important in the question and can be left out during the calculation and can be put back at the end of the answer. Same method follows regardless of type of quantity. Step 2. Lay out the work as shown. Replace the word off with the multiplication sign. Then rest is same as multiplication. Step 3. Change the 10% into fraction. Now the multiplication looks familiar. This is just multiplication. Just follow the steps for multiplication to complete. Also look to see what can be cancel. Step 4. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 10 and 100 have a smallest common factor of 10. Cancel as shown. Step 5. Lay out the work as shown. Perform cancellation. The 35 and 10 have a smallest common factor of 5. Cancel as shown. Step 6. Just multiply the numerators and the denominator together. Step 7. Lay out the work as shown. The partial result is 7 over 2. Step 8. Lay out the work as shown. The answer is $3.5. Step 9. So, 10% of $35 is equal to $3.5. Next starts the exercise. This exercise will test your understanding of what has been covered so far. You will find the answers at the end of this video. In this exercise, there are 40 questions. You will have 30 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found, either, at end of this lesson or on our website. Exercise 1 Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following.
work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following.
Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following.
work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following.
work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. This exercise will test your understanding of what has been covered so far. You will find the answers at the end of this video. In this exercise, there are 20 questions. You will have 30 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found, either at end of this lesson or on our website. Exercise 2 Work out the following.
work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following.
work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Work out the following. Thank you.
We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. Answers for the previous exercise are coming next. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.